Dao Jada was a leader of the agrarian rebels who rose against the rule of Emperor Yang of Suai near the end of the Chinese Suai dynasty. Generally considered the kindest and most able of the agrarian rebel leaders of the time, he was eventually able to capture the modern Hebei region and declare himself initially the Prince of Changle, and then the Prince of Chia. In 621, when the Tang dynasty general Li Shimin attacked Wang Shichong the emperor of Zheng, who ruled the modern Henan region, Dao believed that if Tang were able to destroy Zheng, his own Chia state would suffer the same fate, and therefore went to Wang's aid. Against the advice of his strategist Ling Jing and his wife Empress Gao, Li defeated him at the Battle of Huao, capturing him. Li's father Emperor Gao of Tang subsequently put Dao to death. Chia territory was briefly seized by Tang, but soon Du's general Lu Hate arose against Tang rule, recapturing Du's territory, and held out against Tang until 623. Initial uprising and service under Gao Shida. Dao Jada was born in 573, when his birth area Zhang Yan County was under the rule of Northern Qi, although subsequently it came under the rule of Northern Zhou and then Suai dynasty. It was said that in his youth, his honesty and willingness to help others made him well known in his home territory. In particular, once, when a man from his county lost his parents but was too poor to give his parents a proper burial, Dao was tilling in the fields. But he dropped his tilling and immediately went to help the man bury his parents. And after this incident he became particularly praised among the people. For a while, he served as the leader of the neighborhood, but after he was accused of crimes, he fled, returning home only after a general pardon. When his father died, more than a thousand people attended the funeral, and Dao refused all gifts given him for the funeral. In 611, when Emperor Yang of Suai was conscripting men for his campaign against Goguyo, Dao was conscripted and selected to be the commander of 200 men. During those times, there were floods afflicting the region east of the Taihang Mountains. One of the men from Du's home county, Sun Anzu, whose house had recently been destroyed in the flood and whose wife had starved to death, was also conscripted. Sun tried to obtain an exemption from conscription, but the county magistrate, in anger, whipped him. Sun assassinated the county magistrate and fled to Du's home, where Dao hid him. As the region was afflicted with a famine in the aftermaths of the foods, Dao told Sun. During the reign of Emperor Yang's father, Emperor Wen, the empire was prosperous and wealthy, and he collected a million men to attack Goguyo but was nevertheless defeated. Now we are facing floods and poverty, and people were not returning from repeated conscriptions and not recovering. The emperor does not care about these things, but instead personally leads the army against Goguyo. The empire will surely be in great disturbance soon. A man who escapes death should do great things. How can you stay here and be a fleeing felon? He therefore gathered several hundred men of the region and gave them to Sun to lead, to become bandits at the nearby Gaoji Pond. Meanwhile, there were other bands of bandits in the same commandery, King He, led by Zhang Jincheng and Gao Shida. The bandits knew Du's reputation and were not pillaging his home. The county magistrates of Du's and nearby counties thus suspected Dao of conspiring with the bandits, and once, when Dao happened to be away from home, they ambushed Du's house and slaughtered his family. Dao took 200 men and fled to Gao, who claimed the title Duke of Donghe and made Dao a general. Soon, Zhang killed Sun, and Sun's men largely fled to Dao. Dao became the commander of an army of more than 10,000 men. It was said at this time that Dao was open to other opinions, and he shared both the spoils and the labors with his soldiers and therefore his soldiers were willing to fight and die for him. In 616, Guo Shan the governor of Duo Commandery led a Suai army against Gao. Gao realized that he was not as capable as Dao, so he promoted Dao to the leader of his army. Dao asked Gao to safeguard their home base, and then led 7,000 men against Guo, pretending to be betraying Gao and surrendering. 
particularly having Gao publicly execute a woman that Gao claimed to be Du's wife. Guo, not suspecting Dao, proceeded at once to join Dao, planning to attack Gao together. Dao ambushed and killed him, seizing his army and horses. Thereafter, Dao became even more famous. Later that year, one of the most capable Suai generals, Zhang Yichen, defeated Zhang and slaughtered his troops. The survivors fled to Dao. Yang then followed up by attacking Gao. Dao, advising Gao not to engage Yang directly, stated, Among Suai generals, none is more capable than Yang Yichen. He had just defeated Zhang Jincheng and is now attacking us, and he is difficult to resist right now. Please avoid him and let him wait and be unable to engage us. Once his soldiers are tired, we will ambush him and achieve a great victory. If you fight him now, I am afraid that you, Duke, will not be able to defeat him. Gao disagreed, and, leaving Dao in charge of the base, engaged Yang. Gao achieved initially success against Yang, and became arrogant, feasting on the battlefield. When Dao heard this, he, in surprise, stated, The Duke of Donghe has not yet defeated the enemy but has become arrogant. A disaster will happen soon. After the Suai victory, they will attack here as well, and I am afraid we will not be spared. Several days later, Yang defeated Gao and killed him on the battlefield. He then attacked Dao, whose army collapsed. Dao fled, and Yang, not believing that he would be able to accomplish much, withdrew. Dao returned and gathered the remnants of Gao's army, and he publicly observed a mourning period for Gao. After his army had recovered somewhat, he claimed the title of general, and he began to capture territory around him. It was said that the rebels had hated Suai officials so much that they largely slaughtered Suai officials whenever they could find those officials. However, Dao did not do so, and treated Suai officials and scholars kindly, and therefore at times Suai officials would even surrender their cities to him. He soon had more than 100,000 soldiers under his command. Nominal submission to Li Mi and Yang Tong. In spring 617, Dao claimed the title of Prince of Changgul and also changed the era name that his followers used from Emperor Yang's day to Ding Chao, thus subtly signifying an official break from Suai. In fall 617, at Emperor Yang's orders, the general Zhu Shizhong, who was in charge of defending Duo Commandery, led his 30,000 men south. Intending to attack Li Mi, then generally recognized as the strongest rebel leader. As Zhu went through Hekian commandery, near Du's holdings, Du's army became fearful and fled. Zhu thus took no further precautions, believing Dao to pose no further threat. Dao instead planned a surprise attack, leading 280 of his best soldiers personally as the forward assault force at night while having the rest of his men trail. He made an agreement with them, that if they reached Tex Yui's camp at night, they would make a surprise attack. But if it was already the day by the time that they arrived, they would surrender. The sun rose when Dao was almost at Tex Yui's camp, and Dao, fearful that he would be crushed by Zhu, discussed with his men whether to surrender. Suddenly, a thick fog descended over the scene, and Dao gladly stated, The heavens are helping us. He then made a surprise attack on Xue's camp, causing Xue's army to panic and collapse. Zhu fled back to Duo Commandery with less than 100 men, and died in anger there. Meanwhile, Dao continued to expand but, knowing that Li, then occupying modern central and eastern Henan, had the stronger army. He sent messengers to nominally submit to Li. In spring 618, after Li had a major victory over the Suai general Wang Shichong, whom Emperor Yang had sent from Jiangdu to aid the eastern capital Luao Yang, Dao, along with several other rebel leaders, sent a submission to Li, then carrying the self-declared title of Duke of Wei, urging him to take imperial title. Li declined. Meanwhile, Li's subordinate Fang Yanzhao wrote Dao, inviting Dao to meet Li to show his loyalty. Dao wrote back in humble and polite terms, but declined with the excuse that he needed to defend an attack from Luo Yi from the north. 
a former Sui general who had rebelled in 617 and established Tang Dynasty in spring 618. Although he was eventually killed by Tang forces after attempting to re-establish his independence, soon, news arrived from Jiangdu that Emperor Yang had been killed in a kill led by the general Yu Win Waji. The Sui official Wang Kong, who had held out against Dirt Hekian, observed a mourning period for Emperor Yang, and Dao, in response, sent a messenger to Wang to express condolences. Wang then surrendered to Dao. As Wang had previously had several victories over Du's soldiers, Du's soldiers wanted Huang put to death. But Dao pointed out that Wang's faithfulness to Sui should be rewarded, and therefore made Wang a prefectural prefect. A number of other Sui commanderies also surrendered to him. He then began to organize his staff into a governmental structure, and he set his capital at Les Hao. In winter 618, after five large birds appeared at Les Hao, with an assortment of over 10,000 small birds, and later left Dao, believing them to be Feng Guang, changed his era name to Wu Feng. Further, at the suggestion of his officials Song Zheng Ben and Kong De Shao, he changed his title to Prince of Chia. Also at this time, Dao surprised and killed another major rebel leader, Wei Daoer, who had claimed the title of Emperor of Wei, seizing Vi's forces. He also sent messengers to Luo, trying to persuade Luo to submit. Luo, believing both Dao and Gao Kai Dao to be simply bandits, instead submitted to Tang. Dao led his forces against Luo, but could not capture Luo's base at Yu Prefecture and had to withdraw. Meanwhile, Yuan, after killing Emperor Yang, had advanced north with Sui's elite Xiaoguo army, and he had, after first declaring Emperor Yang's nephew Yang Hao emperor and then poisoned Yang Hao and been several times defeated by Li Mi and then the Tang, General Li Shentong, declared himself Emperor of Zhu and settled in at Liaocheng. In spring 619, Dao proclaimed, I was a Sui subject, and the Sui emperor was my lord. Yuan Waji killed my lord, and is therefore my enemy, and I must attack him. He therefore marched on to Liaocheng. Yuan engaged him outside the city, and Dao defeated him repeatedly, forcing him back into Liaocheng to defend it. Dao put Liao Cheng under siege, and the rebel leader Wang Bo, whom Yuan had enticed with treasure to help defend the city, opened the city gates and welcomed Dao in. Dao captured Yuan and formally greeted Emperor Yang's wife Empress Xiao, referring to himself as your subject. He then carried out a mourning period for Emperor Yang while comforting the Sui officials that had been forced to follow Yuan. He then executed Yuan and several of his key associates. He disbanded the large group of Emperor Yang's ladies in waiting that Yuan had brought along, and disbanded the Xiaoguo army as well. The old book of Tang, while written from Tang's standpoint, praised Dao in this way in the aftermaths of the battle. Every time that Dao Jada was successful in battle or in capturing a city, the treasures he received were all divided for the soldiers and he did not personally take anything. His daily life was frugal and simple. He did not feast on meat, instead eating vegetables and unrefined grain. His wife Lady Cao wore only cloth, not silk, and had less than ten servant girls. After this victory, Dao made peace with Wang Shichong and nominally submitted to Yang Tong, the grandson of Emperor Yang who claimed Sui's imperial title at Liao Yang after Emperor Yang's death. Yang Tong, in accordance with Du's own title, created him the Prince of Chia. Meanwhile, Dao incorporated many key Sui officials into his government, particularly entrusting Pei Ju with reorganizing his government in the form of an imperial one. Independent reign as Prince of Chia. In summer 619, Wang Shichong had Yang Tong yield the throne to him, ending Sui and establishing a new state of Zheng. In response, Dao cut off relations with Wang, and began to take on imperial style in his edicts and ceremonies. Although he was still using the title of Prince Achia and not Emperor, 
He created Emperor Yang's infant grandson Yang Zheng Dao the Duke of Zun, and gave Emperor Yang the posthumous name of Min. He entered into an alliance with Eastern two Jews Shibi Khan Ashina Duo Jishi, and at the request of Ashina Duo Jishi's wife, Sui's princess Yi Cheng, he delivered Empress Xiao and Yang Zheng Dao, as well as the head of Yu Win Waji, to her. Meanwhile, with certain prefectures north of the Yellow River having submitted to either Tang or Zheng, he carried out a campaign to capture them over the next several months, and was largely successful. By fall 619, Li Shentong, responsible for the Tang operations in the area, had been forced to withdraw to Li Yang to join forces with another Tang general, Li Shijia. In winter 619, while proceeding toward Wei Prefecture, he was ambushed by Li Shijia, and, in anger, he attacked Li Yang, capturing it as well as Li Shentong, Li Shiji's father Li Gai, Wei Zheng, and Emperor Gaozhu's sister Princess Tonga. Li Shijia was able to escape, but several days later returned and surrendered to Dao, because Dao had captured Li Gai. I, Dao made Wei Zheng a staff member, while still letting Li Shijia guard Li Yang, but holding Li Gai as hostage, as well as Li Shentong and Princess Tong Ah, but treating them with respect and care. He moved his capital from Lezhao to Ming Prefecture. By this point, the territory north of the Yellow River and east of the Taihang Mountains were largely his save for those under the control of Luo Yi and Gao Kaidao. In winter 619, Li Shijia considered fleeing to Tang territory, but was fearful that Dao would execute his father Li Gai, and therefore attacked Zheng to gain Du's trust. In one of the battles against Zheng, Li captured the Zheng army officer Lu Heiter, whom Dao was impressed with and created the Duke of Handong. Lu became a trusted general of Du's, and was often in charge of making surprise attacks and conducting surveillance missions. Around the new year 620, Li Shijia further suggested to Dao that they should attack Cao and Dai prefectures then controlled by the agrarian leader Meng Haigong and nominally submitting to Zheng. Li Shijia was planning to ambush Dao as soon as he crossed the Yellow River, but Dao was delayed by Empress Cao's giving birth. Meanwhile, Li Shiji's ally Li Shang who could not wait, and ambushed Empress Cao's brother Cao Dan, but was not able to kill Cao. Li Shijia, hearing the news, fled to Tang territory. When the Chia officials requested that Li Gai be executed, however, Dao stated, Li Shijia was a Tang subject whom we captured, and he did not forget his former lord. He is a faithful man. What crime has his father committed? He thus spared Li Gai. He soon defeated and killed Li Shang Hu. It was described that by this point, Dao was encouraging his people to farm, and that his realm was peaceful, without banditry and that merchants and travelers were comfortable enough to spend the night in the wilderness. In summer 620, Dao made another attack on Li Yi, but again could not capture Yu Prefecture. Meanwhile, his general Wang Fabao, one of his most capable generals, were being despised by other generals jealous of his talent. They therefore falsely accused him of treason, and Dao executed him. It was said that thereafter, Dao began to suffer more and more military defeats. In fall 620, Tang's emperor Gaoge sought peace with Chia. Dao agreed to the peace proposal, and sent Princess Tong Ah back to Tang, although he continued to hold Li Shentong. In winter 620, he made another attack on Li Yi but again failed to capture Yu Prefecture. Also around this time, Ashina Duo Jishi's brother and successor, the Chuluo Khan Ashina Kilafu planned a major assault on Tang, and as part of the plan, he requested Dao to cross the Taihang Mountains and meet him at Jin and Jiang Prefectures. But Ashina Kilafu soon died and did not carry out the campaign. At the same time, Dao also executed Song, who often gave Dao honest and valid criticism after false accusations. And it was said that thereafter no one dared to criticize Dao further, and that Du's governance began to suffer because of it.
In spring 621, Dao defeated Meng Haigong and captured him, keeping him as a general.